Butterflies on Carmen Street, Mariposas in la Calle Carmen, by Monica Brown, illustrations by April Ward. To my mother, Isabel Maria Brown, who came north, and to all other migrant souls, hop, skip, wiggle. I do my silly dance, holding hands with Abuelito as we leave our home on Carmen Street. I close our gate with a big bang because today's a special day. I wave goodbye to Rocco, our rooster, and Coco, my chocolate-colored dog. We sing as we walk towards my school. Mothers, fathers, and grandparents are walking their children to school, too. Some laughing, some singing, and some sleepy. Little brothers and sisters still rubbing their eyes. Today is Butterfly Day, I tell Abuelito as we walk past Guadalupe Chapel. I smell the sweetness of the roses that surround our beautiful church. Ah, oh, butterflies. Tell me more about it, Julianita, he says. We're going to learn about monarch butterflies, and today we each get our very own caterpillar, I say excitedly. Abuelito is excited, too. Every winter in Aguangueo, in the town where I'm from, in the beautiful mountains of Michoacan, Mexico, the butterflies come and make our little town a magical place, landing on trees and on the roof of my little blue house. I would like to visit Michoacan one day, I say. Abuelito smiles as we swing our arms together. We pass Palo Verde Park and the bench where Abuelito always sits and rests on hot days, talking with other grandparents. We cross the street to my family store, La Esquina Market, where Mommy and Papi sell everything in the whole wide world. Beans, rice, eggs, pork rinds, chile mango lollipops, candles, Spanish videos, and Mommy's delicious sweet bread. I smile and wave to Mommy and Papi who have been working since before, Rocco's cuckoo doodle do. I am extra happy today, and they know why. I do a few more skips down the street, and we are finally at the big red brick building, my school, Kennedy Elementary. Abuelito gives me a kiss on the forehead, and then I tromp up the stairs to my class. My best friend, Isabella Garcia, catches up to me. Julianita, today is butterfly day, she says. I cannot wait. I reply, when class begins, our teacher, Miss Rodriguez, tells us all about the monarch butterfly. Its beautiful black and orange wings remind me of a tiger. We learn that monarchs start as eggs. Next, they become funny looking caterpillars and then chrysalises. Finally, they become butterflies and fly away. Monarchs are not only beautiful, Miss Rodriguez says, they are travelers. Every winter, monarchs from Canada and the United States fly thousands of miles south. They spend the winter in the warm parts of Mexico, feeding on the leaves of trees. I raise my hand. Miss Rodriguez, my grandfather is from Michoacan and he has seen the butterflies. How wonderful, says Miss Rodriguez, with a smile. I was born in Mexico too. I still remember the smell of the flowers, the sounds of the people, and the warm air against my face. After lunch, we meet our caterpillars. I bring out the caterpillar house that mommy helped me make with milkweed and twig inside a jar. Isabella's jar is decorated with stickers and pink ribbons. My caterpillar is very wiggly. It has pretty yellow and black stripes, so I name him Tiger, of course. When I put him in his new home, he begins to eat. I think Tiger likes milkweed almost as much as Abuelito likes sweetbread dipped in milk. Crack, slip, burst. Over the next few days, Tiger eats and eats and gets bigger and bigger until he molts and breaks out of his skin, and then he eats it. One day, Tiger begins spinning a chrysalis and attaches to one of the twigs Mommy and I put in his home. Soon, everyone's caterpillars have turned into beautiful green sparkly chrysalises. Now, Miss Rodriguez lets us take our butterflies home. Then come the, comes the hard part, waiting waiting and waiting. To help me get to sleep each night, Abuelito tells me about the butterflies in his beloved Mexico. He tells me how his father took him into the hills of Michoacan and from up high all the trees covered with butterflies looked like they had golden trunks. Abuelito promises that one day he will take me to Aganguel to see the monarch butterflies, the golden trees, and the little blue house where he grew up. Tiger will love Mexico. I know, and so will I. I fall asleep thinking about Tiger flying off to the winter in Mexico.
I take Tiger with me everywhere I go. We fall over the park, La Esquina Market, and down the street to Isabella's house. Sometimes I just put Tiger in my bike basket and we go for a ride, enjoying the sounds and smells of Carmen Street. I even imagine as the wind is blowing through my hair that I am a butterfly flying over rooftops and landing on top of Abuelito's house in Mexico. Back at home, I notice the chrysalis is starting to change. When I squint my eyes, I can see the outline of wings. Each night I place Tiger on my windowsill and watch and wait. Finally, one Saturday morning, I wake up and check on Tiger. I yell, It's happening! Tiger is coming out of his chrysalis! I watch Tiger all day and I think he watches me too. Abuelito said, It's time to let Tiger go, Julianita. I don't want to say goodbye. What if Tiger gets lost? How will he find his way? I ask. Julianita, Abuelito says, Tiger knows the way to Mexico because it's in his heart. Together we carry Tiger's butterfly house into the backyard. I look one last time at Tiger and then let him go free. Up he goes, catching the breeze and flying away. At first I feel sad, but then I imagine Tiger flying down Carmen Street, resting for a moment on the roof of La Esquina Market, sipping sweet nectar from one of the roses that line the steps of Guadalupe Church relaxing on the bench in Palo Verde Park, tickling the nose of a baby resting on his mother's hip, fluttering past Kennedy Elementary School, flying off into the sky towards Abuelito's magical Mexico, where the air is warm and the trees shimmer with golden butterfly wings. Sometime in the future, I will fly away too.